Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad I gave you it. So, um, I look for things that are on sale. Mm -hmm. Like, this is two. Oh no, it's the red seedle scrapes are on sale for two fifty a pound, and mm -hmm. that saves me one fifty a pound because normally it's three ninety nine. Mm -hmm. So, to me, that's a good deal. So. I mean, red seedless grapes could be as low as one ninety nine, but two forty nine is decent, and my kid likes red seedless grapes. So I'm gonna buy them. I try them first to make sure it's good. Well, they are. I'm gonna take a bunch. Of them. And the strawberries. Four dollars each, which saves three dollars each box. So, also, I'll, I'll take it because my sons love strawberries. But I have to check the bottom if um, there's fungus. That's something I hate about the supermarket is that um, there's many times, especially strawberries, there's fungus inside. Like there's that white stuff. So I always turn it around to make sure they're not like wet and mushy. So I'm gonna just. I'm gonna take a fresh looking pack with no white and nice looking other. So I look for other things that are on sale as I go along to see if it's worth it for me depending on, I take all kinds of factors into account, like if my children love something, the price, um, the sale price. So the plums look nice and they're on sale for 50 cents less a pound, which 250 a pound is decent for plums, so I'm going to buy some. So I'm gonna take a few a little bit on the firm more firm side because I want them to um, ripen up at my house yeah okay so mm, these are really hard okay so plums unless we can find them oops sorry about that kinds of meats now I'm waiting for my cheese and the lady there um, she was very friendly and she asked me if I wanted to taste which doesn't always happen but when it happens I really do appreciate it because then you get to see how thin it is you get to taste it and see how delicious it tastes and um, I really like that I like when people are friendly because it makes your supermarket experience nicer so I'm always friendly but many times they're not so friendly back so I do appreciate friendliness 
Um, what else? She also had some sandwiches that um, were a photograph was taken of them sitting there on the deli counter, which I've never encountered in my life. And she said, would I like a sandwich? It was like a, a tasting of a sandwich, which was so nice, but being that it's nine in the morning, I really don't want a cold cut sandwich. Um, but it was very friendly of her, and that makes me want to come back to the supermarket. So, um, okay. Now I need brown, brown sugar. So um, I, wanted, I wanted to explain that um, I come to the supermarket uh, for certain things only because it's near my house. So I do a lot of my like last minute shopping here or I do a lot of like the necessary items here um, because for example, fruit wise, um, they don't always have the most fresh fruit or they don't always have organic fruit. Um, their prices are decent, but again, I sometimes look for specific items. Um, so I buy certain things here. I always buy my milk here. They have a good organic gallon that I love. Uh, and they always, I always buy like little things for the kitchen. Like, I don't even always buy brown sugar here, but like bulk things I like to buy at different stores like Costco. Um, little items that Trader Joe's has, I love because Trader Joe's is cheap and it's also really delicious and there's great variety. And uh, I go to like specialty supermarkets like King's um, only when I want something really good. Like if I want a really good fish that I know is going to be amazing each time I make it, I go to King's. It's really expensive, but it's pretty good quality. Like very good quality. Okay, so I need brown sugar. Um, I don't always buy my brown sugar here, but since I'm here and I need it for my coffee in the morning and I need my coffee, I'm going to look. Okay, so this is an example of when I... I don't know if this is relevant for you. This is an example of when I would normally buy sugar somewhere else. I would normally buy brown sugar. I like brown sugar from a certain country and there's a supermarket nearby here, a little mart that sells brown sugar from the country. So I, I love that sugar, but I'm not there. I'm here and I'm here now. So I'm gonna get brown sugar for my coffee now and I can't buy it at Costco either because I'm not there. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get the 99 cent one because, oh, you know what? These are packets. I don't like that because that's a waste packets. Um, <clears throat> so now I look at the prices and like 380 for a little pack of sugar is just a waste of my money. Um, however, I would like to make coffee soon and I really do want some brown sugar so I'm going to buy, I'm going to waste my dollar because it's just a dollar and I'm going to buy some packets. I'm going to take that. <laughs> Because I'm going to make it to the other stores in the next few days. I'm just going to buy a dollar's worth and hold me off for a few days and then buy the other brown sugar. Uh, that I always go to and then in between I sometimes visit the other aisles but really very rarely only if I need something like today I need brown sugar otherwise I really do I think I go often enough to the supermarket where I don't need like a humongous purchase and if I do then I write it down unfortunately today I just we just got off of spring break so I didn't have time to make a list normally I make a list with things that I need and then I look um, if something's like on sale and I see that I need it then I buy it. and Another thing that I do is, if something is on really a good price, if something's on sale and it's for a really good deal, and it's not perishable, or that it has like an expiration date that's farther along, I'll buy a bunch. Like I literally, if I know my kids love it, and I know that it's an amazing price, 
I buy like 10 of something. For example, the other day I bought Hagen dazs ice cream. I see that it's on sale now. But Hagen dazs ice cream is just really good quality ice cream and there's a lot of flavors and my kids love ice cream. So I, to me sometimes quality is important even though you're paying a little bit more. So I bought the Hagen dazs ice cream at like a good price because then you save two for seven dollars. You save 99 cents each. So you're actually saving two dollars when you're paying seven dollars for two. So I loaded up my cart. Um, maybe, you know, Hagen dazs doesn't do a bigger size. So of course you're paying more. And how, how do you know this is a good price compared to other places? Good question. Um, just because in my experience, I've seen Hagen dazs being sold and it's usually the, the, the price that it says that it is, it's at least four, 450. Uh, for example, Kings, the high-end market down the street, everything's more expensive than here baseline. So one time my husband liked the Greek yogurt and I wanted to buy him the Greek yogurt when I was at Kings and they had a little sale and I was so happy and I bought a bunch and I came home and when I came here to stop and shop and I looked at the Greek yogurt, it was um, cheaper baseline than it was on the, at from the sale price at Kings. So. Um, but Hagen dazs I just remember the price going to different supermarkets. And I actually remember research um, being done by America's Test Kitchen, which I watched once, about what the best ice cream is. And they, test, they tested different flavors, and Hagen dazs was the best. So that helps me to feel good about why Hagen dazs should be bought and why it's a really, really good quality brand. So I go with Hagen dazs many times. That being said, sometimes I buy like it's little, so I don't always rely on Hagen dazs but like if I have special guests, I always serve really good quality ice cream. My kids care less, although I like them to have a, a more refined palate, but sometimes I buy them the big tubs that are like a lot cheaper because I do want to save money. Um, it's just that this was on sale and I knew they had like special flavors, so I bought a bunch to like uh, spoil ourselves, let's put it that way. So, mm. so I just ran into somebody I knew. I don't know her well. I just knew her from a party. Um, but, you know, I said hello because I, I think it's important to be social anywhere you see somebody you know. Um, and we talked about the spring break. She just had her spring break, her kids' spring break, and so did I. And so she told me she went to North Carolina and uh, we sort of exchanged a little story about how I, I went to Virginia recently, but also that I couldn't go to North Carolina. It was too far away from my son. It was just a one, like a 30 second exchange, but it was friendly and it was a little banter, but that was it. Okay, <clears throat> so um, when I think about what I don't like about the supermarket, um, I think about not being able to find certain products that I like because this is not a big supermarket. I mean, it's relatively large size, but there's also a super stop and shop that I've been to where it's huge. Um, so that has more things. That being said, I also have been to the Super Stop and Shop and not found certain things that I needed. Um, it's frustrating when, for example, you want specialty items. I remember once I wanted Crumb Fresh to make um, a dressing for like a fish and I couldn't find it in this supermarket. So um, that was frustrating to me. And I don't think, I guess Crumb Fresh is sort of a specialty item. So I needed to go somewhere completely different. When I can't find an item, um, I usually either know where to get it and so I need to like make different lists for different supermarkets and that's frustrating or if I really don't know where I can get this product what I do is if I know that I'm going to be in the area in a different supermarket I always call in advance and say do you guys have so and so um, I do that with anything I do that with clothing I do that with like things I need I do it with brands because uh, otherwise I just go there and it's a waste of my time. So for me, the phone is the quickest way because you're actually speaking to a live person. For me, the uh, internet doesn't work. It doesn't work to like, t it would take me too long to type in a specific thing that I need in, in a specific supermarket. Just easier to call the person, like the personnel department and say, do you have this? Did you ever travel finding things that you know are here? Yeah, actually, okay. that's Can a good Can you show one. me what you do? Yeah, 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 yeah. There is an example right here. There's, um... Can you show me? Yeah, I can show you. Let me see if they have it. <laughs> okay. This is actually something that I need to get here. I love to bake, so... Okay, yeah. Um, let's see if we have it. Okay, this is an example. This is, this is 
what bugs me about this store. I love to bake and sometimes I need heavy cream in my baking recipes. So I come here and I see half and half and I see heavy whipping cream. And it frustrates me because I need heavy cream. And I know that it's similar to heavy whipping cream. So what I do is I go and I speak to the people in charge of the dairy department who are super nice. But their answer is always right off the bat that there's heavy whipping cream. It's the same as heavy cream. And it's not the same as heavy cream. <clears throat> I mean, I'm not an expert. I'm not a baker in my profession. But I've looked it up and I've researched it because after the first interaction like that, I said, mm, maybe they're right and I don't know something. And I looked it up and they have like different percentages of fat, different percentages of cream. And so it does make a difference. In baking, you have to be exact and I'm a perfectionist, so I need to have it, the heavy cream. So I've had several interactions with them and it's funny because after an interaction with one of the guys who is the manager, he actually brought it in without me asking him. He said to me, because what you had asked and what you said, we brought it in. But now I see that it's not here. They took it out apparently. So that bugs me a little bit because I like to buy heavy cream and not heavy whipping cream. I don't want to whip it. I want to just make a cake. So that's something that bothers me and I see that they've uh, what got went back to what they originally did. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thanks, Thanks for the Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. So come near you. What was that? What was um, that? The food? You get, like, points towards gas, which I got excited about, but they said that... They, then they explain... It's only certain gas stations, and, like, I, there's a lot of, like, uh, little, you know, like requirements to do it so I, 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 I don't want to I want so, I want easy a lot of people like just one easy and this is not easy um, so check out Lonnie, Lonnie was nice you, you know as long as they're not nasty Lonnie, and cool four, usually oh, they're really three, friendly please. I think she was a little bit taken back by the video camera but usually they're really friendly and that's cool as long as they're not if I find that they made a mistake um, it's important for me for someone to be willing to like correct it in a very easygoing manner. Sometimes they make a big deal out of mistakes. And, but it's okay. Sometimes they need to go check it. That I understand. I'm always willing to go and find the product for them to show them that it's, it's wrong. But most of the time it's right on and it's correct. And I didn't really pay so much attention today because I was focusing on the camera. But normally I look and make sure that the prices are good. But it was smooth. 